You can use variations of your Facebook avatar to reply with a little more expression in comments all over Facebook on both desktop and mobile, like this, and like this, and like this. Hey, what's up, everybody? Bitmoji Trevor here, about to show you how to create a Facebook avatar. Facebook just released the ability for you to create yet another cartoon-like thing that also looks nothing like you. It's being rolled out in phases, so if you don't have it yet on your smartphone or desktop, just just wait, or maybe Mark Zuckerberg just, just doesn't like you. Before we dive in, here is a power tip. Take a selfie of yourself, because I don't really know what I look like, before you start trying to create an avatar that looks like yourself, and just put it up next to your phone on your laptop while you're trying to create your Facebook avatar. Now let's dive in. To create your Facebook avatar, first you gotta jump on your phone and open Facebook by tapping the Facebook app. Then you go to the bottom right where you got those three lines, that's called a hamburger menu because it's like a hamburger with buns and a hamburger. You click on that, you scroll down to the bottom. By the way, yours may look a little bit different because Facebook rolls things out in phases, gives different things to different people depending on how well you are obeying the Facebook gods. So you want to click on see more, then click on avatars. Once you click on avatars, it's going to load your avatar. And if you don't have one yet, which you probably don't because you're watching this video, you start here by selecting your skin tone. Now, I'm probably pasty white, but I wish I wasn't. So I'm going to make myself about like this guy here. Next, you choose your hairstyle. My hair is fading. And let's see, since I'm looking at my photo that I just took a minute ago, I'm trying to find one that looks kind of sort of like it. And I guess I kind of wish it looked like this. So I'm going to go with that guy. And you don't have to make the emoji look exactly like you. You can make it look like you wish you looked, which is kind of what I'm doing. I'm now going to click on the color, which is this little icon to the right. And I think I've got kind of dark brownish hair based on my photo. Next, you click on the icon to the right of color, which is your face shape. And I'm looking at my face shape. And you know, I want that angled jaw because CrossFit and stuff. So we'll go with, I guess, fat angled jaw. Next, I click on the thing to the right, which is my complexion. This gives you the ability to have, you know, if you got freckles or moles or whatever. And looking at my face, I don't have much of anything. So I'm going to leave it there. Then I click on these lines. Like, do you want to age yourself? You know, I wish I looked younger than I do. So I'm just going to add in a little bit of lines, like right there. How about that? Looks identical to me, right? So eye shape, I'm a little more squinty than that, apparently. So I'm going to scroll down and look. I mean, look at my photo. Look at this. You can judge me. But I'm going to go with more what I, you know, in between what I wish I looked like and what I look like. I think this one is kind of more like me. Oh, dude, I look sinister. I don't know. What do you think? Open it up a little bit. Okay, I'll, I'll go with that. If you've learned anything so far from Bitmoji Trevor, please hit that thumbs up. Bitmoji Trevor doesn't have any thumbs. So, you know, just hit that, hit that little thumbs up thingy. By the way, if you have an iPhone, have you used that Bitmoji feature, this talking thing you're looking at right now? Have you used it or did you kind of forget about it? Post that in the comments below. And if you have an Android, do you wish you had an iPhone just so you could do these talking emojis? Put that in the comments below. Next, we go to eye color. And I think I'm kind of green. I'm going to go bright green just because it looks cooler and you can actually see it. Oh, look at those green eyes. Dang, I'm beautiful. Next, click the icon to the right. You just kind of work your way over. Next, go on the one to the right. Look on that guy, makeup. I'm not wearing makeup today, but I probably should. Next, I'm going to eyebrows. I wish I had more eyebrows. They look like they're, they want to be big and bushy. There just aren't very many of them. And they're kind of flat on one side and raised on the other side. So I, I don't know. You guys could probably make a better emoji. Here's, here's a challenge. You guys make an emoji that looks like that photo of me as opposed to what I'm doing here more of the what I wish I look like kind of thing. Let's go with something kind of in between. Oh, oh, I'm not that. I don't know. Uh, that's terrible. How about you? No, that's nothing. That's probably pretty accurate, even though I wish it wasn't. We'll roll with it. Color of the eyebrows. We'll go one over. Can't even tell. Glasses. I wear them sometimes that are not now, so I'm not worried about the color because there's no eyewear colors needed because I'm not wearing eyewear. My nose. They don't make a nose as big as mine. It kind of goes, I mean, you can't see from the side. Let's try this guy. 
How's that? Or And just try stuff. See what kind of looks more like you. No. You can't see up my nose. You can't see my nostrils like that one. You can't. That's close-ish, I guess? Lips. I don't really have lips. I don't really have that split thing in the middle, so it's going to be a little more straight. So let's go with that for lips. Kind of looks more like me, right? And lip color. I... I think that's fine. Facial hair. Okay, I haven't shaved in a while. So, but these are full-on beards. They don't have a great one for fuzz, right? They just have beard. But I am a little fuzzy at the moment, so I guess we go with that. Sure, for now, right? And then we're going to go a little browner. And then I'm going to go with body shape. Well, I'm not that chick. I'm not that dude. I wish they had a dude that was jacked, but I mean, like, because I wish I was all jacked, but I'm pretty much, it's about as close as you're going to get. Clothing! I'm wearing shorts right now. This is pretty much what I'm wearing right now, except my shorts are blue. So that kind of works, I guess. Hat, no hat for the moment. No headwear color needed. And then I can use this mirror icon on the top right so I can look at myself. <gasps> Dude, that's, that's identical. That's great. And I could have done all the way through. I, it's almost the same, the same thing. So I'm done with that. I click uh, this check mark in the top right. This is my avatar. It's a new way to be on Facebook and Messenger. It's no way to be me. So I hit next. And it's telling me what my options are. I can use my avatar as a sticker and use it anywhere I can place a comment. And it showed me how to do it. See where it's telling me right there? That's how you do it. You hit that little smiley face to use your avatar. Then I hit done. And there's my dude. There's Avatar Trevor. Now I am going to get out of here by hitting the X. And I'm going to go into Facebook and leave a comment on my own profile. So I'm going to click on see your profile. I'm going to scroll down to my last thing where I've got the comment button. And here, see that smiley face? Now I can scroll down at the bottom of the screen and I see that little face at the very bottom center. I click on that. And there's my avatar. Look at this. That's me. These are all the different things I can do with my avatar. It's pretty amazing, right? And this is a mind blown because I'm blown away with how awesome that video was. And boom, I post it. And now look at that. How much better is that than a stupid thumbs up, right? This is what you need to do. For more incredible Facebook tutorials, go ahead and click that link right up, right up there. To subscribe, which you totally want to do, hit that link right, right down, down there by my winking eye. I cannot wait to see your incredible Facebook avatars that look just like you.